Over 40 new vehicles were unveiled at January's North American International Auto Show. General Motors' Chevrolet Bolt was an attempt to upstage Tesla in the electric vehicles market. Honda unveiled its new NSX supercar and Nissan previewed the design of its upcoming Q60 coupe. Ford stunned crowds with their new GT high-performance supercar. There's no one theme except that you know, the industry is back. It may not have been as glamorous or powerful as other cars on display, but this 3D printed Strati car turned heads. Engineered by local motors, the car's frame and panels were printed using carbon fiber infused plastic. It took 44 hours to print and was made up of 212 layers. Renault then kitted it out with an electric car battery, motor and suspension. They can print that out, test it, put it on a car, drive around with it, go, oh no, we need that a little bit wider, a little bit narrower, whatever it is, and uh, really get the design right. A rocket-powered car aiming to smash the world land speed record at 1,000 miles per hour was unveiled in London in September. The Bloodhound car's motor produced over six times the power of all Formula One cars on a starting grid. It's a bit like flying an aeroplane. Uh, one of the difficulties of flying an aeroplane is you must never let the aeroplane get ahead of your thinking, right? The same month, major luxury and sports car manufacturers showcased their work at the Frankfurt Motor Show in Germany. The Lamborghini Huracan Spider supercar is set to be up for grabs in spring 2016 for around 316,000 US dollars. It's a car which is giving you the feeling that you're much better than you really are. In October, Japanese car makers Toyota tested their self-driving car for the first time on Tokyo's highway without human involvement. Eco-friendly rides and smart cars stole the headlines in 2015 and left petrol heads eager to see what next year has in store. Clementine Logan, CCTV.